Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create hair on objects in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful. but before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's begin today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 2.92, nice. So now let's select everything in this default by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's import an object that we need to have hair on it. So I will import a skull model here which I have downloaded from free3d.com. Download link in the description. So let me import that from first. So here you can see we got our model here. So now let's add hair on the skull. So for that long press on the select box and change it to lasso tool. So now let's select some vertices here where we want the hair to be present. So for that let me move on to this wireframe mode. Press 3 on the keyboard for side view. Okay. So press tab to enter edit mode now. Now make sure you are in vertex mode. Make sure that vertices is selected. So we need to select only the vertices now where we want the hair to grow. So make sure this lasso tool is selected and simply draw here to select the area where you want the hair to be present. So here you can see we got these vertices selected here. Okay. So once these vertices are selected, click on this object data properties. Create a vertex group. Just click on this plus sign here and let me rename this to here. Okay. And assign. So now you can see if I deselect and select, you can see the group is assigned for this vertices. Nice. So now press tab to exit this edit mode once again. Okay. So let me change this to solid viewport. Fine. So now let's create hair on the skull here. So for that, we are using particle system. So select the skull, click on this particle properties and click on this plus icon and here change it to hair. So here you can see we got hair all over the skull. So we want this hair to be present on the area which we have created earlier. So for that scroll down, come to this vertex group. Okay. In density, select that hair group. Okay. And in length also select that hair group. So here you can see we got hair on the area which we have selected earlier. Nice. So now let's play with some of the properties with the particle. So scroll up here, number of particles. I will increase this to 2500. Okay. Hair length, I will decrease to three. So segments, I will increase the segments to 20. Fine. So let me enable this hair dynamics. Nice. And here we can change the color of the hair later. So scroll down to this children and enable this simple click on the simple tab we'll get more hair here so lot more hair so if i play this now it's taking a lot of time because of the hair count so let me reduce this to thousand so if i play this we can see we got hair falling on the skull and also you can observe the hair is passing through the skull which we don't want that to happen so for that we need to add collision property onto the skull. So select this skull, come to this physics properties and add collision. So now let me play this once again. So here you can see most of these particles are not passing through the skull. Okay. So now come to this collision properties and let me increase where is this thickness outside thickness to 0 0.2. Okay. Nice. So now let's move on to this material viewport. So here you can see we got some material on the skull. So let me remove that one. So come to this material properties and I will delete this one and I will add another material and I will give that base color off. So here you can see whichever color I'm applying on the skull, the same color is applying on this hair also. So for the hair, we need to create a separate material. So let me click on this plus and create a new material and let me change this surface to principal hair bsdf okay so new material is created so let me change this color to dark a bit okay nice so now come to this particle properties scroll down to this render and material select the material which we have created now so now you can see the hair got the material which we created just now fine now scroll down to this kink and kink type i will change this to curl so that we will get some curl on this hair okay so now let's animate the skull 
so let me bring this up okay so select the skull let me move on to this 60th frame let me select this rotate tool and let me rotate this here aside a bit now press i on the keyboard enable the keyframe for rotation so now move to 120th frame and let me rotate this here a bit here okay and let me add a keyframe of rotation and also let me move again to 180th frame and let me change this rotation to here like this okay so here you can see i have added some rotation keyframes also okay so before going to render this out we need to bake this simulation first so for that come to this particle properties and look for cache so here you can see we got cache option under hey dynamics so here we need to bake the simulation first so let me bake this one so click on this bake button so here you can see bake is done so now let's play this once again so click on this play button so we got this nice hair created here so if you observe clearly we are getting we are not getting the smooth curve here because of the segments we have entered so if you want smooth curves form on the line we need to increase the segments so currently it is 20 for 20 i got this kind of look here so increase the segments if you want nice curves on the hair okay so now let's render this out so for that we need to move on to this render viewport so currently the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so let me add in hdra so come to this world properties click on this color select this environment texture and now let me select an HDRI. So I have downloaded few HDRIs from HDRI Heaven. So you can download free HDRIs from HDRI Heaven like this. So let me select one HDRI. Okay. So now we can see we got lighting in the scene. So come to this render settings, render properties, scroll down to this film and let me make it transparent. Okay. So enable ambient occlusion. Let me increase the distance to 1.5. Okay nice so in order to render this out first we need to create a camera so go to this add add a camera so press ctrl alt 0 press n on the keyboard come to this view options and enable this camera to view so now we can adjust the position here so if you want to add light extra light we can add that one so let me add this sun here let me bring it up actually it doesn't matter and come to this light let me increase the strength to 5 so that we can see we are having the difference here so press r and let me rotate this here so now we are seeing the difference when we are adding the light sunlight nice so here you can see currently the render engine is set to ev so if i render this using ev i will show you how it looks so here you can see it is not looking that much good so for this hair kind of thing i prefer to use this cycles though it is a bit time consuming let me change this to gpu compute so now we have selected this render engine to cycles so now let me show you the output in cycles so, so here you can see the difference while we are using this cycles engine so i will recommend to use cycles engine for this hair kind of things to render out though it is a bit time consuming it is worth of that time nice so in this way we can create this kind of hair on any kind of objects in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye